So it is finally that time of year. The NHL has come back. The PWHL is also coming back for its second season. And it will be a good season now that we have team names finally. Not not the greatest names in the world, you know, the Boston Fleet, the Minnesota Frost, the Montreal Victory, or or however you say that in French. I'm not gonna try it. Uh, but I think that's just how you say it. Um, the New York Sirens and the lookalike logo, the Ottawa Charge, along with the Toronto Scepters. Um, again, when these when these team names were first trademarked, you know, way back a couple years ago, uh, I was more hyped for those than what we got. I'm fine with it at this point. You know, I just don't have a PWHL team to cheer for because, well, you know, I live in Texas. Live in Texas. I just want to support good women's sports. And, you know, the PWHL, you know, gone through an offseason of controversy. Preseason schedule is out. Those will be in um, the later stages of November. Schedule for the season still has not been put out yet, but it will be 30 games, of course. And some teams like Toronto, they have new arenas. It's about all I can say about the PWHL right now, you know. We'll talk a little bit more about, you know, PWHL down the line, maybe before the season starts, maybe during that preseason stretch, you know, of like a weekend, you know, that's during a weekend, you know, like that preseason stretch there. Um, but otherwise, I, I've really got nothing to say about the PWHL that has been said already throughout the offseason. You know, they went through an offseason that was kind of marred in controversy. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you're here for the second season. And hopefully, hopefully the growth is there to where, you know, again, some of these teams moved into AHL arenas, you know, smaller arenas, you know, that can, you know, definitely do their part in supporting a PWHL team. So we'll find out how it goes for the 2024-2025 PWHL season as we get closer to that date. Now, the NHL, on the other hand, a 2024-2025 season of the NHL is going to start in, in, in Prague. You know, no Russians, of course, due to the UK, Ukraine-Russian war, you know, playing. There's the NHL Four Nations face-off in February that I'm not going to care for. I do not care for it at all. Um, and the season really starts on October the 8th, which is... You know, next um, Tuesday night, um, I believe that's Tuesday. I think that's a Tuesday night. Correct. Yeah, that's, that's a Tuesday night. So, yeah, next Tuesday night is when the games really start. And, you know, there's a lot of storylines. Will Alex Ovechkin, he needs like 40 goals or so to catch Wayne Gretzky. Can he do it? We'll find out. The NHL is trying to expand, and, you know, the NHL wants to add Houston. And Atlanta at Houston has long been rumored to have an NHL team. They want that, you know, the guy who owns, you know, the, um, the Rockets and stuff like that. You know, he wants an NHL team. He wants it. And he may indeed get it. Atlanta, on the other hand, you know, has tried and failed a couple times. But the interest is there. Last time, last go around, the Thrashers were, you know, Basically, you know, kind of just a little, you know, some ownership issues were kind of there. And it's like, this is Bush League type stuff. This is, this is, this is not, you know, professional hockey levels and, you know, stuff right here. Like the ownership was just, ugh. but that was before my time of watching the NHL. So that was before my time. It was before I got into it really. And really kind of started breaking all this stuff down. Um, there is a intriguing amount of players and stories that are going to be probably, you know, some stuff like Colorado, who I'm just going to let you guys know right off the bat, I am picking them to be my Stanley Cup champion for this year because they have basically their entire roster. They they have you know everything they need 
to get back to the cup. Tampa Bay, of course, is still, you know, very much good with Stephen Stamkos. Carolina also very good. Um, Joe Pobleski, you know, retired from Dallas, but it's fine. Jonathan Marcheseau, you know, was gone from Vegas, but hey, Thomas Hurdle, you know, he should be, you know, he, he should be able to go. Um, Igor Shosturkin, you know, has had a contract situation dispute with the Rangers for so long, you know, it isn't even funny. Florida's basically returned a lot of the same guys, and I would pick them, you know, maybe, maybe, just maybe Florida repeats. Maybe Edmonton, you know, finally gets Canada over the hump with the 30-year drought, you know. Sidney Crosby still, you know, trying to get Pittsburgh to, you know, kind of kind of do their thing and, you know, win Stanley Cups, you know, and get the Penguins, you know, something something good. Um, but other teams, you know, are kind of intriguing at the same time, you know, again, there's very, very few that, you know, very, very few things that make any sense. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you know, there's teams like Toronto that's, you know, lost some guys. Detroit's lost some guys. Again, um, the Islanders. You know they they they, they still have Patrick Roy behind the bench. You know and you know they they were able to get to the postseason last year and they could you know do some damage. The Caps you know have have a pretty decent roster. You know Pierre Dulouc, Pierre Luc Dubois, Jacob Chuturin, You know Mangia Payne. You know it should be an interesting roster. Ottawa. Um, I don't know. You know. Linus Olmark, you know, is it really enough to kind of just kind of, you know, just do the, the thing? Uh, again, Utah, you know, now that they've relocated, I wonder how they are going to succeed. You know, they have low concession stand prices and everything like that, but that's cool and all, but at the same time, I don't know, man. Dustin Wolf, you know, should be in net for Calgary, you know. Um and he's he's gonna have to live up to the hype, you know, the void that Jacob Markstrom, you know, had. And I mean, it, it it's 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 something. I mean, Calgary, you know, they they were under five hundred last year. You know, they they may be in the process of rebuilding some things. They may be in the process of still being kind of mid. Um, same with teams like Philadelphia. You know, Columbus, you know, uh, Patrick Lane's hurt as well, you know, as well. So that's something, you know, that's kind of, you know, he's been hurt for he's been hurt for a hot minute and he'll be hurt. He'll be out for the next two to three months. Of course, the of course, the Gaudreau brothers, you know, dying is very, 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 very rough to you know, get through, you know, it, it has been a rough off season in some ways. It has been a intriguing off season. In others, some teams look far better than they did last year. Some teams do not, but ultimately at the end of the day, I'm just going to try and do my best, watch as much hockey as possible. Um, I will say I'll try and watch some college hockey this year. I will try my best to do the frozen four, you know, everything like that. You know, there are some interesting prospects from college, you know, that have, you know, gotten into the league, you know. And I mean they 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 are they're here, you know. They're here, they're ready, you know. We saw we saw how Connor Bedard, you know, did his thing last year. We saw how that, you know. Saw that happen. Um, Macklin Celebrini as well as another one. You know, he should be an interesting guy to watch. And the NHL, yet again, is going to have one hell of a season. We got, you know, of course, the real opening day, you know, on October 4th, and then the true opening day on October the 8th, you know. And then, of course, you know, the 
the Winter Classic, Stadium Series, which will probably honor Johnny Gaudreau and everything like that with Columbus and Detroit, I believe. I think that's the Stadium Series game, if I'm not mistaken. Winter Classic, St. Louis, Chicago, um, no Heritage Series, I think, this year, or unless it's, I think it's in October or late in October. That's what the Heritage Series is. And, I mean, some new stuff has kicked in, like the Amazon deal in Canada has kicked in on Monday nights, you know. So stuff is just doing stuff. It's going to be one hell of an NHL season. Again, I think Colorado, with the well-rounded roster that they have, you know, could definitely win the Stanley Cup. I'm probably going to be very, very wrong on that, you know, and we're probably going to get something like Edmonton, Florida again. But, you know, the NHL is one of those playoffs that is a total, total knuckleball. Like, you don't know what in the world you're going to get. So we'll find out in April what we get. We'll find out throughout the season where we kind of are as far as benchmarks go. And until, you know, sometime in November probably, I'll see you all again to talk the NHL and the PWHL, maybe a little college on college hockey as well. So from me to you, toodaloo, and enjoy the rest of your Thursday night, and enjoy the NHL openers tomorrow morning. Yes, I said tomorrow morning. Have a good night, everybody.